Oh, good morning. Welcome back once again. If you're as excited as me, I guess you are thinking about the upcoming Bay Hill Premier Cup now in its 35th year. This is the hotbed of where talent is discovered. This prestigious event is set to feature promising under-19 soccer superstars showcasing their skills without limits and with a very rich history and a list of some notable alumni. We're talking Benny McCarthy, that sort of level. We're going to delve into how this tournament is impacting the development of future football stars and contributing to South Africa's ambition to dominate the world of football because we believe we can do it. And joining us in the, this um, tournament, definitely, but um, certainly this morning with their hearts as invested as ours, tournament director Rayan Ali and the captain of Grassy Park FC, the defending champions, Cody Peterson. Good morning. Yes, when I said defending champions, Cody just looked at me like little tigers up. <laughs> okay, I, I, you got it. You got this, man. He's dialed in. He's got the focus. What a job you have. What a job, Rayan. To be able to plug into talent at this level, because you know you've been through this a number of times. You've seen how the cycle works. Why is this tournament the tournament? How come it's been around for as long as it has been? So many have fallen away. And why do all the scouts come knocking on your door? Why is this the one? I think the, um, the key ingredient here was the, the formulation in 1989 of this LOC committee. So the tournament was essentially started by the Bale, the Bale um, United Football Club and there was a subcommittee created, the Bale LOC, that kind of ran this event for years and years the and years. The custodians. They are the custodians yeah. of the event. And funnily enough, after 35 years, all of them are still on this LOC. Wow. And we have all been kind of seconded. I mean, I've been with the event for the last 21 years. So oh. I've been learning for the last 20, 21 years. And over the last two years, I've obviously now been the director. Um, but still being poked and jabbed by the, by the elderly guys, yeah. You um, must, Kind man. of push it in the right direction. But um, the tournament sits in a unique space where we look after under-19s. And you'll find that the tournament was created inside communities, um, communities that are ridden with crime, drugs, gangsterism. And, and what this does is it creates a conduit for, for these players or these community members, young adults, yeah. to kind of get a stepping stone into professional football. So this is the alternative. What do I do when, I've, when I've, I'm 16, 17? I can't break into a top team at my, at my local club because I'm not old enough. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm too old to still be a junior. Well, they're, they're almost structureless, and that's the problem. Is we've, and I've spoken about this with the top coaches at national level, how difficult it is to get that pool of talent activated because there is a gap. Um, and so often we lose our best players, like a young Cody, because they don't have the opportunity to shine at that right moment. Cody, for you to be able to, to know, literally, you're following in the footsteps of a Benny McCarthy, some of the best footballers that have ever been produced on this continent, in the world, in fact, have, have walked these footsteps that you're going to be walking. How does it feel for you to have this opportunity? Uh, I think it's a great opportunity. Opportunity, You know, many people don't get this opportunity sure. to go out and showcase their talent, but we should be grateful because it, is, it helps us in a way because we can also one day maybe be there where Benny McCarthy is or Steven Pinar, and I think it's great for us. And, and being able to work alongside like a Steven Pinar, there's a reason why he keeps coming back here. There's a reason why he wants other young footballers to see him do it because he understands how vitally important the notion of representation is. Um, but that building block, that stepping stone, it works in the sense. Why does it work so well? What do you give these kids when they come through your program? I, th I think the, the a key ingredient for us is to, obviously from a, an inventing standpoint, to try and be the pinnacle from an eventing standpoint. Um, the football really speaks to itself. Um, there's a greater plan in our LOC to, to almost bring in um, the best teams from around the country. Uh, we've, again this year, got 11 teams that's traveling in from, from out, not outside the country, but outside of, of the Western of Cape. Of zone, yeah. Yeah, and then there's about 21 teams that's representative of the Western Cape. So you've got local teams that are amateur, and then you've got franchise teams um, that are kind of touching Top, the semi-pro yeah, level. Yeah. And then you have PSL teams coming down. So there's a nice mixture of, of, of kind of um, ascertaining how good am I really as an amateur player versus Because you've got to test yourself against the best. Exactly. And, and so now we've also created this 
conveyor belt of, of talent kind of running through this, this, the SAFA structures. So Duncan Crow is no, is no um, stranger. David Niati will be there this year. Walter Steenbach, who's the, the new technical director, he'll be there this year. And almost every single Bafana Bafana coach has come and will yeah. come here <laughs> over the Easter That'd weekend. Be silly because not to, yeah. Exactly, because remember these guys are 18 and 19 years old. Um, they, they're playing high performance football. So if you're good enough at this level, Chances are you might be good enough um, at, at the higher level. Not chances are. I, I will tell you now from my experience, my, this is the joy of getting, I'm not going to say you're anywhere close to my age, but when you get <laughs> to my age, you get to see these patterns play out. And there are few, very few gateways into the professional level that offer you this very tangible, real opportunity. That being said, Cody, how are you guys going to do this? How are you going to perform in this tournament? Because a lot of pressure on your shoulders. Uh, I think the ambition for each team is to go out and win this cup. Yeah. And so is ours. But going in as defending champions, the pressure is on us. However, we use this pressure as motivation to excel above our opponents. One of our coaches, he even, he even resigned from, from the ABC to retain this prestigious cup. That in itself was a great motivational factor, not just for me, but for the team as well. Going and all in. My personal contribution to this team and to keep the momentum and spirit of achievement is to lead by example through discipline, motivation, and turning the word impossible into I'm possible. Yes. We are possible. And yeah. Buddy, yes, as my heart is pounding <laughs> right now. I, I don't know, Ray, how you must be feeling <laughs> listening to that young man, I'm going to say. Um, really prove that you're a young man right now. I love this tournament. We're going to keep all of these details up. Of course, it's playing out uh, very quickly. Yeah, we, we, we're playing out from the 27th of March until the 31st of March at Erika Park in Bala. And then we're having our massive um, three final final day. We're calling it the PPC 24, the finals. And that will be at the Athlone Stadium um, on the 1st of April. So it's I think we can massive. give you guys some tickets. to. to uh, I, I think we might demand some and we'll give a couple away as well. Some of the best footballers proven. Some of the best footballers in the land giving their opportunity to absolutely shine. Well done, James.